Hey, what's up guys? It's Nelson here with Gadjax, and today I'm going to be showing you how to share photos with your friends directly from the lock screen. So the application I'm going to be showing you is called Screen Pop Lock Screen. It's similar to Snapchat in that you can send self-destructing photos, except that you can do it directly from your lock screen. The first time you open it up, you'll be asked to enter your phone number. You'll then be sent a code, and that's how you use the application. You don't need to sign up with any emails or passwords. So this is what your lock screen will look like. If you hold down on the yellow icon, you'll get more icons. So here you can take a photo. You can send a message, you can reach your contacts, or you can unlock your screen. So let's say I want to take a picture, I just swipe and let go over here. So I'm just going to take a photo of this. And just like on Snapchat, you can add text, and you can move it around. You can also tap up here and draw, you'll have several colors to choose from. And down here you can select which contacts you want to send them to. I have no contacts as of now, so I'm just going to send it to myself. And when you're ready, you can just tap on this arrow. So if I unlock my device, this is the photo that I just sent to myself. You can only view it in the lock screen. Once you unlock it, you won't be able to view it again. But if you hold down, you can favorite it and that'll save it on your device. You can reply with a photo to your friends or you can reply with a message. So if you go over message, you can write your own in this box or you can just send hello or a heart or a happy face. Also, just to note, both people will need to have the application for this to work. So yeah, it's very similar to Snapchat except that you don't have to go in any applications. So if you don't have much time to take a photo, you can do it through here. All right, well, that's it. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the full tutorial over at Gadget Hacks. All right, thanks, guys.